For the first time in the modern era, young adults are more likely to live with their parents than with a romantic partner, according to a new study by Pew Research Center. Here to discuss the findings is the study's author, Richard Fry, a senior researcher at Pew. Thanks for joining us, Richard. We want to start with a graphic here showing that in 2014, 32.1% of 18 to 34-year-olds were living in their parents' home versus 31.6% who were married or living in their own homes. Now, what do you see as the underlying reasons for this? Um, this shift, at least in a superficial way, it sort of marks the, the rise of singles among the nation's young adults. In 1960, 20% of young adults were living in their parents' home. Now, by 2014, 32% are living in their parents' home. So there's been, there's been this steady rise in young adults living at home. And the sort of a superficial reason is simply married young adults, they've never lived in their parents' home. But what has happened since the 60s is it's the rise of singledom. We've got many, many more young adults who are single. They're the ones who possibly live in their parents' home. And so the rise of singledom can sort of account, at least in a superficial way, mm -hmm. for why we've got so many more young adults living in their parents' homes. So, so is this part of the trend then of people pushing off marriage and starting their own families until their 30s, even mid-30s? Yes, it definitely is. This definitely partly reflects sort of the delay in marriage, the delay in family formation, um, among at least those under 34 years of age. All right, so now looking at this group, these 18 to 35-year-olds, are younger adults, in other words, that those adults between 18 and 25, much more likely still to be living with their parents than the older young adult group? Yes, very definitely. The youngest young adults are much more likely to be living in their parents' home than, say, the 30 to 34-year-olds. but. Compared to 1960, it's risen for both the younger young adults and the older ones. So the increase compared to 60 is there for all ages. So once we look at this trend and we break it down by gender and education level and other demographics, what does that picture look like? What you definitely see is that unlike sort of the some media accounts, um, this trend, it's much more, less educated young adults are significantly more likely to be living in their parents' home than, say, the college educated. When we look at it by sort of race, ethnicity, again, this tends to be more prevalent among African American and Hispanic young adults and American Indians. It's less prevalent among uh, whites and Asians. And so the rise since 1960, it's more pronounced mm -hmm. among sort of more disadvantaged groups of young adults. Right. Racial ethnic minorities and the less educated. And what's the takeaway here then for the economy? Well, the sort of the takeaway for the economy is that uh, particularly since the Great Recession and the you know increase in living at home, it's been noted that young adults are not forming households, and part of that is they're living with their parents. And so, um, as a result, there's a lot of spending that goes when a young adult sort of sets off on his or her own. It's not just the apartment or the home. There's the furniture, the appliances, the cable TV subscription. A lot of spending is involved in household formation. And so part of the reason that the, account, that the recovery has been fairly modest or tepid is that the housing recovery has been modest and tepid, and that's partly because young adults are lagging in setting up their own households. Hey, who's to argue with a warm dinner at home at the end of the day, right? Richard Fry, thank you so much for that.